When a man fostered a young girl and her siblings for several years, he thought nothing of the kind act. However, during the adoption hearing, she told the court something that left them in tears. Will and his wife, Julie, had always wanted children. They believed that children could fill up a person's life and raising them provided you with a sense of accomplishment and achievement that couldn't be felt any other way. They both worked in jobs where they had dealt with youngsters before and found that they had a connection with the younger generation that would translate well into parenthood. There was one issue though. Will and Julie were unable to have children of their own. They had tried and tried and tried, but eventually a doctor ran some tests and confirmed that the chances of the poor, unfortunate couple actually bearing a children were pretty much zero. Now, while some people would have been deeply saddened and devastated by this news, Will and Julie didn't give up hope of parenting a child. They might not have been able to have one via natural or medical methods, but what they could do was foster a child. So that's exactly what they did. Foster parenting seemed like the best idea, said Will, remembering back to when they first made the decision. Sure, it hurts a little that we couldn't have a baby of our own, but there was no need to get ourselves down about it. We both still had a lot to give, and if foster parenting was our only way of showing that love, then it was a totally worthwhile thing to do. Foster parenting is where a couple can provide children with a safe, loving home when they can't live with their birth parents. There are a wide variety of reasons why a child might need to be fostered, and while it might only be for a night or two in an emergency situation, it can on some occasions last much longer. In fact, some children stay with their foster parents for several months or even years until they turn 18 and become legal adults. This kind of foster parenting allows children to live and grow up in a supportive environment that tries to replicate and fulfill their needs. Not only physically, such as food, water, and a warm and comfortable home to live in, but also emotionally. It is a valuable and worthwhile thing, with close to 500,000 children living in foster homes in America alone. Globally, the number is pushing 3 million. It's staggering to think that there are so many children in need, yet it's also comforting to know that there are people out there who were willing to look after them. So when the opportunity came for Will and Julie to become foster parents, they jumped at the chance. The couple decided to foster several brothers and sisters whose family was going through a hard time. Will and Julie would take care of the youngsters while their parents tried to work things out and reconcile their differences. At least that way, the children wouldn't witness any bitter words or arguments. So after being officially approved as foster parents, Will and Julie welcomed the five children to their home. Fostering five children certainly was a big leap for the couple. They had gone from having no children to now being in charge of five of them, three boys and two girls. Their ages ranged from two years old all the way up to 11, so there was definitely a spread of ages and needs. Was this going to be a tough job? Sure it was. But it was also going to be a rewarding one, and one that would change not only their lives, but also the lives of the kids forever. We had every intention of fostering maybe one or two children, said Will, reminiscing about their life-changing decision. But when this adorable family of five came along, then Julia and I just couldn't turn them away or see them split up. They were already going through so much. It would have been horrific if they'd have ended up being broken up and sent to separate families. So taking on all five at the same time was a no-brainer. A huge uphill challenge, but a worthwhile one. Talk about jumping in at the deep end. And so, Will and Julie welcomed the five children into their home. It was certainly quite a change of pace, and they had to get to know each and every child personally. But what they found so amazing was how willing the children were to be loved and listened to. Will and Julie knew little of the original home life, but what they could piece together didn't sound good at all. So over the course of the next few weeks and months, they all started to bond, settle in, and become their own family unit. Sure, the children tested their boundaries and pushed the limits every now and then, but they were kids. And that's what kids do. On the whole, though, things went smoothly, and the strange family became a close-knit group. Neither Will nor Julie had ever dreamed of this being the way that they had a family, even if it was just for a short while, but they loved it. But all good things must come to an end, and at some point, foster parents have to say goodbye to their wards. That is, unless something comes along to throw a spanner in the works. Keep watching this video to discover how things got even stranger and more complicated.
The plan was that the children would stay with Will and Julie for a limited amount of time, maybe only a few months, while their parents reconciled and their original home became a much more friendly and a less toxic place for children to be. But as time wore on, it became obvious that the kids' mother and father would not be able to patch up their differences, and neither of them were ready, capable, or even willing to take custody of all the kids, which left them in a serious predicament. They could move on to another foster home, then another, then another, until the state finally found them somewhere more permanent. But Will and Julie didn't want to see their young lives disrupted any more than they already had been. So the couple put their heads together, had some long serious talks, and came up with a plan. Will and Julie had decided to adopt the kids, all five of them. They had become so very close as a family unit, and they loved each and every one of them as if they were their own. But there were some issues that stood in the way of their happily ever after. Would a judge grant them permission to adopt the children? Would the children even want to be adopted? Keep watching to find out the emotional and tear-jerking ending to this tale. The adoption process was started, and in order to finalize the process, the entire family would have to go to court. The judge would weigh up the pros and cons of their proposal and make a decision. He spoke to Will and Julie separately, questioning them about their intentions and how stable their environment was. The judge seemed quite happy and content with their answers, and as if he was ready to greenlight the adoption, but then he did something quite unexpected. Turning to the five children, the judge asked about their opinion on Will and Julie fostering them. They all seemed super enthused about it, but it's what one of the girls had to say that broke everyone's heart. When asked specifically about how she felt about Will, she said, I've never felt that he's my foster father. I only felt that he's my real father. I wouldn't choose a better one for us if it was up to me. The court felt silent at the words, and the little girl looked around, thinking that she had maybe done something wrong. The truth was that everyone had tears in their eyes. Will and Julie were quietly sobbing, and even the judge had a look of great emotion on his face. It was clear to everyone just how much the five kids looked up to, respected and loved Will and Julie. And the judge had no doubts that the couple would be able to properly adopt the children that they had fostered for so long. It just goes to show that even though Will and Julie were not able to have children of their own, they still had so much love to give. Even though they might not have physically given birth to the five kids, they were the ones that brought them up and loved them unconditionally and without question. And that was what made Will and Julie the best parents in the world. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have reacted if you were sat in the courtroom and heard what kind and touching things the young girl had to say about her foster father? As always, we'd love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.